Hi everyone, so in case you haven't realised already by the same lighting, same setup, same clothes, same makeup, etc, etc, I am filming today's video on the same day as my previous video, which was my May favourites, just because I've been so rubbish with filming lately, I thought I'd get a couple of videos filmed today whilst I have time, so that you at least have a few videos to look forward to, even if I do look exactly the same. So today's video is going to be a London haul and I went to London last Monday so just over a week ago now and I picked up quite a few things. I went with my mum and we had a really lovely time and went all around London shopping so I thought I would show you what I bought and I did pick up a few things in Space and K after going to London because a couple of the things I bought in Space and K in London I wasn't sure about so I exchanged them and got these things instead. So I have two rather big bags of makeup and skincare so I'll just get started. Okay so starting with Space and K and this is the only product which I actually kept from my London visit to Space and K and it is the Elemental Herbology Facial Glow Facial Radiance Peel and this is basically a mask to make your skin nice and glowy and smooth. It's like an exfoliating mask with chemical exfoliants and I've only used this once, I used it this morning, but it was really nice. It surprised me that it's actually quite gritty, it feels almost like a scrub, but you're not meant to scrub with it. So that was really strange, you're just meant to leave it on your skin for about four minutes and then wipe it off with a flannel. So I guess while you're wiping it off with the flannel, the exfoliating particles do get to work a little bit, but so far I think that it has worked quite well, my skin did look really glowy and it felt really smooth afterwards but it did leave my skin feeling really tight and I do have quite dehydrated skin so that's not something I enjoy all too much but I will give it a few more tries and I will write a review on it on my blog ASAP and it was £40 so hopefully it's good because that is a lot of money to spend on a mask. And then all of these bits I picked up in my local space in K yesterday I believe it was, well two days ago when you're watching this video because this will go up on Monday and I went on Saturday so these things I picked up like a day ago so I haven't tried any of them out yet except from one product so I can't really tell you my thoughts on them but I thought I'd show you them anyway and there's a couple things from NARS the first thing is the multiple this isn't one of their matte ones I wanted to try one of their usual multiples because I do love a good highlighter for the summer so I've been eyeing up this shade for a while and it is one of their multiples in the shade South Beach and this is a really gorgeous shimmery bronzy champagne kind of colour I'd say it's a really nice warming highlight it's a great one to use if you have a tan or if you want to sort of fake a tan because it just makes your skin look really warm and healthy and tanned and glowing and gives you a really nice highlight so I think this will be really nice to use on all the high points of my face throughout the summer to just give me a really nice glow and also help me fake a bit of colour and I'm not sure how much these are I think they're about 30 £30, but considering the amount of products you get, I don't think that's too bad of a deal. And I do love NARS, so I can't pass up a good NARS product. And then the next product which I picked up from NARS is a lipstick which has been on my mind since Anna from Viviana Does Makeup mentioned it in one of her blog posts. I think it was one all about pink lips. And then she wore it in a video with Lily Pebbles, and I was like, okay, I really need to pick this lipstick up. And it is the NARS Satin... No, what are these lipsticks even called? I'm not sure what they're called. I think they're these semi-matte lipsticks. In, and this one's in the shade Shiap? Shap? I think it's Shiap, I'm not sure. But it's just a really gorgeous bright pink colour. It's quite blue toned, which I didn't think would suit me. So I did try it on in the shop before I picked it up. But it really suited me and I absolutely love it. It makes your teeth look really white and it makes your skin look really healthy and glowy and bright. And it just really perks up your complexion and just really stands out. That's what I really like about it. You could wear this kind of lipstick with tinted moisturiser, a bit of mascara and a bit of highlighter and then just throw this on and you'd look really put together and it just looks really chic. So I really like it and I definitely recommend picking up this lipstick if you're looking for a nice bright summer lipstick to wear. And I actually have my receipt here so I can tell you how much it was. It was £19.50. The next product is something which is really ridiculously expensive and it's not something which I would normally pick up but where well, I was exchanging things from London and I really wanted to try it out I thought I'd just give it a go whilst I was there as I have been wearing eyeshadow a lot lately and it is the By Terry Ombre Black Star in Bronze Moon and this is a really gorgeous colour I wasn't sure which colour to pick because they're all so beautiful I did really like Bronze Perfection as well I think it's called but in the end I went for this one because it's quite different from the colours I already have and it's just a really gorgeous bronzy colour but it has a bit of taupe in it, it's kind of like the Maybelline, what are they called, colour tattoos in On and On Bronze, it's kind of like that but it has a lot more dimension to it and a lot more pigment and I would say it's a lot more bronze whereas that is quite taupe. So I really really like the colour and I can't wait to wear it, I did have the swatches on my hands 
for about 12 hours washing my hands like so so hard to try and get it off but they wouldn't come off so I guess that's a good sign that it is long wearing at least and this was 28 whole pounds and then the final four bits from Space and K are all hair things and when I went to London I did pick up the Orbe I can't remember what they're called, it's the range that is in the greeny blue bottle and it's for like control and to help frizz. I picked them up in London and then I got home and I was like, whoa there, I cannot keep these, they're so expensive and I'm not going to tell you how much they are because you'll probably all gasp in shock but you can look online if you like. So I took them back but I did need to buy another set of shampoo and conditioner because I am running low on my current ones. So I ended up picking up the Living Proof Restore range. So I got the shampoo and the conditioner and these are meant to help heal strands, gently cleanse and help restore softness and they're sulfate free and they're colour safe and they're meant to be for dry and damaged hair which my hair is, my hair's a lot better now but it still is quite frizzy and dry and damaged just because I do have naturally curly coarse hair so I do still need products aimed at dry damaged hair types so I thought I'd give these a go and in hope that they will help to control my frizz a little bit and also help to just heal my hair and keep it nice and soft so I'll let you know how those go and then I also picked up two styling products and the first one is the one which I do have a little bit in my ends today and it is the Bumble and Bumble Brilliantine I think it's called Brilliant Time something like that and this is basically a cream product and it's meant to help give your hair a little bit of shine but also give it a little bit of definition it's not meant to be majorly defining like a texturizing cream or anything like that it's just meant to give you sort of a bed head kind of look but a very subtle one just make you look really chic and effortless that kind of thing so I thought I'd pick it up I haven't got that much of it in today to be honest I just wanted a little bit on my ends because they were looking a bit dry so I will give this a proper go when I wash my hair next and let you know how it goes and this was £18 I think but I don't think that's too bad considering I barely wash my hair or do anything to my hair so this will probably last me at least a year and then the final product is also from Bumble and Bumble and it is their thickening cream contour and I went into Space and K looking for a product to kind of give my hair a bit of texture but not make it really fluffy and big like a texturizing spray which you put in on damp hair would kind of thing so I wanted to get something which I could put in on dry hair to give it a bit of texture but not dry it out because I had tried the Bumble and Bumble texture cream but that is quite waxy so it made my hair feel quite sticky and dry so I thought this would be a good bet because it is a cream so it's not going to dry your hair out too much or make it too hard or anything like that and it looked like it was quite subtle but still did give you a bit of texture and definition so I'll let you know how this goes as well so yeah I'm really happy with the things I bought in Space and K I do think I'll get a lot of use out of them they fill a lot of gaps in my collection which definitely needed filling so I'm very happy with them products and then the next things are all from random shops so I'll just try and go through them shop by shop so everything else I have in this Liberty bag although it's not all from Liberty I just love the bag so I kept this bag to keep it all in so the next few things are all from Zest Pharmacy which is on Broadwick Street I think it's up from Space and K so I went in there quickly before I went down to Covent Garden area and thought I'd just have a little look I wasn't really expecting to pick anything up but I just wanted to see because obviously it's a pharmacy and it stocks sort of French skincare brands and things like that and I did pick up a couple of things so the first thing I picked up was this double pack of Bioderma and this is the version for dehydrated dry skin with the blue top I normally use the one with the pink cap but because my skin is quite dry I thought I would try these ones out and it was on a buy one get one free special offer so I got both of these bottles for £10 which is so much cheaper than ordering them online because they're about £13 each when I order them online so I thought I'd give these ones are going and see if they're any better for my dry skin because I haven't been using Bioderma a lot recently because my skin has been quite dry and dehydrated so I've been using oils to take off my makeup instead so hopefully these are a lot better as using a cleansing water before my main cleanser is a lot quicker. The next product was something I bought on a bit of a whim but I thought it'd be a nice addition to my skincare routine and it is the Antipodes Amanda Antioxidant Rich Gentle Toner. I wanted something which was just quite hydrating and really soothed the skin after cleansing and just gave it a bit more life because I find after I've cleansed my skin it just feels quite flat and dry and dehydrated and so I like to have 
an extra step before my moisturiser. So I thought I would give this a go and it's a hydrating toner but it also has antioxidants in there so it's really great for soothing the skin and helping with congestion and things caused by the environment. So if you live in a polluted area this would be a nice one to try. I haven't been using it for very long, I've been using it every day since I went to London and I have really enjoyed using it but I haven't been using it long enough to really notice a difference in my skin so I will keep you updated. I'll probably do a blog post on all of the new skincare bits I've picked up in the near future so do look out for that. And then the final thing I picked up in Zest was the La Roche-Posay Psychoplast Levre. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, I don't know French in the slightest, but this is basically like a lip balm product, but it's kind of like a medicated lip balm. It helps to really soothe chapped lips and really helps to heal them rather than just masking them. So I thought I'd pick it up because I do have a bit of eczema, sort of really dry, flaky skin which just feels really tight and sore a lot of the time on my top lip and it's really annoying when wearing lipsticks and things like that. So this is what it looks like, it's just a really tiny lip balm kind of shape and it has one of them squeezy hole applicators, I'm not sure what they're called, it just has that little hole on the end and it's slanted so that the product comes out of the tip and it's quite thick, it's quite waxy but not, I don't know what to compare it to at all, it's kind of like Lana Lips but matte, kind of like a mixture between the Nukes Red de Mille lip balm and Lana Lips. That's what it's like, but it's matte and it sinks in really nicely and creates a really nice barrier over the skin but doesn't sit on top of it, if you get what I mean. So it feels like there's a sort of silicone primer layer on the top of it to really help protect it and stop it from drying out and to really seal in the moisture. So I really like this and it has really been helping, so I'll see if it does completely clear it up or anything like that because that would be amazing. And that was £6, so not too bad for a really good lip balm if it does work. So my next stop was Pixie and I went in for one thing and picked it up straight away and it is the Pixie Glow Tonic and this is kind of like the Clarins Exfoliating Toner or Alpage Liquid Gold. It's an exfoliating step which you'd use instead of a manual scrub, you use it as a chemical exfoliator and I'd use this at night. I probably wouldn't use a moisturiser on top of it. I'm not sure whether you're meant to use it as a toning step. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I think it is a toner, but I probably would use it in the same way as Alpage Liquid Gold and use it as an overnight treatment and not use a moisturiser on top. But I'll let you know how it goes because I haven't used it yet, so I'm not sure what's the best way to use it. But hopefully it is good because I am running out of a lot of my chemical exfoliators. And then after Pixie, my next stop was Liberty and I picked up a few things. I didn't pick up as much as I thought. There were a couple more things I wanted, but they were out of stock, so I couldn't buy them. So I ended up picking up a couple of things from Hourglass and one thing from Orange and the Aurelia product I picked up was the Revitalize and Glow Serum and I really wanted a new serum which would help with moisture in my skin so it would help to hydrate my skin and also help to brighten my skin and things like that and this is exactly what this does. It does, let me try and read you a description. So blah blah blah, there's lots and lots of writing on here but it says this addictive serum works to hydrate and soothe dull and dehydrated skin promoting a luminous dewy and radiant glow whilst preventing skin aging. So that's basically exactly what I want, I want something which is going to hydrate and also promote a nice healthy glow. So I do really like this, I've used it two or three times already and it has made my skin look really nice after I've used it. I haven't really been using it long enough to notice a huge difference but it is a really nice feeling serum to put on before your moisturiser and you can use it morning and evening which is a plus. And then the two hourglass products I picked up, I just picked up a backup of my hourglass brow sculpting pencil because I am near the end again, I'm through nearly my second one and then I also picked up the hourglass femme nude what are these called? Lip stylos. And I got the shade number 6 and I'm wearing it now. It's just a really gorgeous pinky nude colour. I would say it's not too pinky but it's not too peachy either. It's somewhere in the middle and it just looks really nice and natural and really finishes off a look if I don't want a bold lip or anything like that. I just want something quite subtle and nude but not too pale that's going to wash me out. So anyway, I'll show you the actual product now. I keep forgetting to actually show you what I'm talking about. So yeah, it looks like this. It's just a really gorgeous version of a chubby stick basically. It looks very high-end and luxurious and then it has this lovely gold detailing and this is the colour here. Hopefully you can see it. It's just a really lovely nude and I really like it already. It feels really nice and moisturising on the lips. 
It's not matte, but it's not glossy either. It's somewhere in the middle. It has a really nice satin finish with a really, really good amount of pigmentation. And so then finally, I headed to Selfridges and I picked up only two lipsticks actually. I did want to get a couple of foundations and things like that, but I wanted to try them out first. So I am going to pick them up when I go to Southampton in about a week's time. So there will be another haul in about two weeks' time from all the things I pick up in Southampton. So yeah, I am going a bit spending crazy, but I do really need to restock a lot of things at the moment. And that also means there will be an empties video soon. So anyway, the two lipsticks I picked up, I picked up one Tom Ford lipstick and one Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. So first up, the Tom Ford lipstick. Just look how gorgeous the packaging is. I absolutely love it. I do have another Tom Ford lipstick, but it's in the white limited edition packaging. So this is my first in the normal black packaging and I absolutely love it. And the shade I picked up is Flamingo, which is a really gorgeous pink color. It's quite a warm pink and it's quite a day-to-day not natural pink, but it's not bright and in your face. It's just quite a wearable, summery pink colour, and I absolutely love it. I can't wait to use it, although I am quite scared of ruining the indentation. So let's see how long it goes this time before I actually use it. And then my first Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, I picked up the shade Love Bites, and this is just a really gorgeous lipstick. Look how gorgeous the rose gold packaging is. I just love it, and I already want more. But anyway, Love Bite is a really gorgeous red colour. It's quite a warm toned red. It's not orangey at all, but it's quite warm and quite bright, so it's really nice for my skin tone. I find that a lot of reds can be too blue toned on me, which really doesn't suit me, or they can be too dark, which is nice on my skin tone, but it's not really very wearable. So I wanted something which was not orange toned, but not blue toned, just somewhere in the middle and just quite fun and wearable and yeah, just a perfect red. And this is definitely my perfect red, I think. I did try it on and I absolutely loved it. It really brightens up my complexion and just looks really nice with any eyeshadow colours at all. So definitely love this and it will be my go-to red from now on. So that was everything I picked up in London, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it didn't seem like I was bragging at all. I was just really excited about everything I bought, so I really wanted to show you. And so, yeah, let me know your opinions on any of these products if you've tried any of them. Let me know in the comments section. And also let me know any products which you've picked up recently, which you've been loving, because I'm sure I'll be shopping again soon, although I do need to keep my bank balance under check because I have spent a lot of money recently. All the products mentioned in this video will be listed in the down bar along with all my links, so do check out down there if you're interested in picking up any of these products. And do make sure to like this video if you did like it and subscribe to see more of my videos. I do promise that I will upload regularly from now on. I'm going to try and upload either Wednesday or Thursday and Sunday. So that's two videos a week you have to look forward to. So anyway guys, this video has probably been long enough by now, so I will leave you there. Thanks for watching. Bye!